what is your view of the membership being cut out of this process, as now, I, I dare to say, seems likely? Well, I spent the weekend in my constituency and talked to several uh, members of my local uh, association and actually the vast majority of the ones that I spoke to actually said to me please don't let it go to the members vote this time UMPs need to sort this out uh, this time um, I, I fully appreciate there will be some members who, who will be disappointed if it doesn't go to a members vote uh, but I think for the, the sake of the country and the national interest we MPs need to get this done as quickly as possible and a new Prime Minister in number 10 uh, hopefully today it's the most extraordinarily rapid process, if that is the case. I wonder what are the first things that a potential Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, would need to do? Because the Conservative Party has revealed its divisions like never before over the past few weeks. How can Rishi Sunak possibly unite such a fractured party? Well, clearly the first thing a new Prime Minister will have to do is form a government. And Rishi has made very clear that he will draw from across the breadth of the parliamentary party in forming that government. We've already seen with the people backing him that he has got people such as uh, Steve Baker and Simon Hoare, who are not uh, by any, anyone's imagination uh, sort of uh, on the same wings of the party, coming together to say we, we need to unite behind Rishi in the national interest and, and back him to be Prime Minister. So I, I'm very confident that Rishi will be able to do that. He'll be able to uh, form a government that represents the, the whole breadth of the parliamentary party and unite uh, everyone behind him. And yet, one of the big criticisms, of course, of Liz Truss was there were no prominent Rishi backers in her cabinet. Does this mean we can expect definitely prominent opponents of Rishi Sunak in his cabinet? Well, clearly that will be down to Rishi if he does become Prime Minister. And let's be clear, we're not taking anything for granted today. We need to let the process uh, play out. But I think Rishi will uh, put people in positions based on their, their, their capability and that they're, they're the right people for the job. And uh, in doing that, to, to draw people together from across the party. So I think we can expect to, say, to see a broad breadth of, of people with different views and different uh, expressions of conservatism in his government. And what's to make of the race as it stands now? Penny Mordaunt, of course, still saying that she's in this race. A new polling published this morning by her uh, campaign teams showing that she is uh, less unpopular in the red wall than Rishi Sunak, suggesting that she's the person more likely to win an election. What is the Rishi Sunak supporter message to those who back Penny? at this time? Well, I think that Rishi over the summer demonstrated that he has what it takes to do the job. He clearly has the right policies. What he predicted has come to pass. I think that gives him great credibility on the economy. Uh, and, and I think what we need is, is someone who, who can grasp the situation immediately, who understands the challenges that our country is facing and, and can provide the right answers. And I think Rishi has shown time and time again that he is the right uh, person to do that.